In this video, we're going to discuss the parallelogram method of adding two vectors together. First of all, we have to have two vectors to do all this. Well, we have vector A right here and vector B right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to form a parallelogram like this in order to add this vector to that vector. Now I know what you're saying to yourself, or you should be if you've been watching my videos long enough. You're probably saying, hey gee, didn't we do something similar to this with the triangle method? Well yes we did. But this time we're going to use the parallelogram method. Why are we going to use this? Because we made it through Euclid Book 1. 100%. We're all done with Euclid Book 1. As a matter of fact, very soon I'm going to introduce you to Euclid Book 2 and we're going to have a whole bunch of new fun. But before we do that, let's start with this. Now, we have vector A and vector B. We're going to duplicate both of these right over here. Now, how are we going to do this? We're going to use Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 23. We're going to do it for this here and for this here. And using Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 23, and you can go back and check it out for yourself because you should have been following by now. Here's vector A, here's vector A, here's vector B, here's vector B. Now once we have vectors A and B drawn together like this, we're going to join the line here and using Euclid Book 1 propositions 22 and 23, we're going to duplicate this triangle right here. I'm going to show it to you again. From here to here to here, all the way up. This is a triangle. We're going to duplicate this triangle over here. And when we do, we're going to find a point right here. And we're going to draw a line from this point to this point. And as soon as we do, then we're going to have the sum of vectors A and B. And that's your answer. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.